Hi, this is Jason with Days Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to change side button settings on Samsung. My wife had an update on her phone a while back and it actually changed the side button to when she was pressing, holding too long on the power button. I think it makes Bixby pop up. Or if you have Google set up, it will pop up too. So I was gonna teach you how to change the side button settings on her Samsung Galaxy S22. If you have one of those, it should work on some of the other ones too. So check it out if you have a Samsung phone. And I'm gonna show you how to change the settings on those so Bixby doesn't pop up or Google Assist doesn't pop up when you hold down the power button. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Last week we covered how to change scroll directions on Samsung because another update messed up the scroll directions in the app drawer. If you missed that, I'll put the link down below for you to check that video out. Also, I'll put the link down below for this video because I have the article written already because I always write the article first will be down below for you to check out too. So before we get going hit the like on this video it really helps our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos I come out with every Thursday. Alright let's get this started and I can show you how this works. So we're going to go to the home page. Okay when you're in the home page swipe down from the top and like I said I'm using the, um, my wife's Samsung Galaxy S22 phone so this would be if you have the same one it's going to be exactly how I do it on there. So what we're going to do is once we swipe down once you're going to look to the top gear icon right up here. You're going to tap on the gear icon it's going to bring up the settings screen and you're going to scroll down until you find we're looking for advanced features that's what we want. So you're going to tap on advanced features and when it opens up in here as you can see near the top, it says side button. That's exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna tap on side button. And as you can see, there's a couple options. You have double press for camera. So if you double press your power button, it will take, it will change it to the camera. Um, so that's pretty cool to have. If you want it on, you can turn it on by tapping the switch here or off. Mine's on, of oh, my wife's is on. And you look down below, and this is the one we wanna look at, the long press. That's what we're looking at. So you see it says pick speed below it, so you're gonna tap on that. And here it is. So this is the long press, you're holding the power button, it's gonna pop up one of these things. So you don't want this on or popping up when you do it. Um, my wife changed a feature in here, so a uh, setting where it actually stops Bixby altogether. So I, I'm not gonna go detail on that, but I'm gonna show you if you have, let's say you have digital Google Assist on, if you hold the button on the side here, if I can get it right, hang on. Hang on, no one fall. Okay, we're gonna do this the hard way. So you hold the power button. See how it pops up at the bottom? We don't want that. So we're gonna turn, so you don't want that coming up. So what you wanna do is, I'm just gonna choose power power off menu so when you hold the button instead we'll hold it real quick and then you get this you get the power off option so we're going to go back and we're going to go back to the main screen so we're going to leave it as that that makes it easier she likes it that way so that's how you actually can change the samsung galaxies um s22s or other samsung's change the side button settings on here so they're very simple to do it's kind of a pain when it does pop up so now that you know you just do that and that's how easy it is. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, share this with your friends and make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the notification bell. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.